I was confused a moment. Where's the start? Okay, 24th. Couple days. We should see if we'll get the event. Just keep checking my mail. Eventually I'll I'll have a letter. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry if you hear that. The dogs downstairs have been let out. So now they're going to be incredibly loud and make things very annoying on my recording, I'm sure. But that won't happen once I have my once I have a place, which I'm looking for now, as I've said earlier in the recording. Yes, I'm looking for my own for an, for my for a house of my own, because I'm almost twenty-five and <coughs> had to sneeze and couldn't find my muting button in time. I apologize deeply for that. I couldn't find my my muting uh, dial in time. But it's, it's, it's time for a house of my own. I feel I've gr I'm I'm an old man soon. It's time that I had some property with which to which, which, with, with which to call Castle Rain. It'll be a moat out in the Amish country, just a moat, not a castle. A pond might be a better way to have said it. Is a pond. No, I don't, I don't live by the Amish now. Uh, going out of the way to Amish country is what I'm talking about. But anyway, yes, uh, I've, I've helped pinpoint where exactly I live for the people who don't know where I live. Oh god, the shock horror. Uh, we'll do a couple more days. We'll do up to the, up, up to the day before the Starry Night Festival. No, uh, we'll, we'll do the festival and then you know what? Screw it. We'll uh, we'll just go until I hit 45 minutes recording. Then we'll then we'll end it wherever we'll, we'll, then we'll end we'll, we'll end it wherever it lies. We'll do that. That way is much more effective. Just to set a cutoff point and say we'll get there, and then it'll be fine. Uh, one thing I uh, one thing I miss out of other Harvest Moons that this well that miss from Harvest Moons that that. that, that that this one doesn't have is a greenhouse, because then I can still do something if I had a greenhouse, but I don't, because they don't let me. Um, it was Harvest Moon DS, actually, the DS adaptation of this game. It's kind of a sequel, but not really. It takes place in the, uh, wonderful life universe of characters. <clears throat> Uh, when you get enough money, you can actually buy basements, and I said basements, to your house, and they work as your, um, greenhouse. So you can just always grow crops year-round, even if it's like a blizzard, you can still go into the basement and, like, harvest crops and stuff. So, it's, it, it, it's very, very handy in that respect, that you're allowed to do things like that. It's it's very, very good and I, I appreciate that kind of that kind of a system. Um, the greenhouse in particular is one that i is one that I've I've missed, just because you can grow things from all year round in there. Uh, all year round. So we could so we could keep pineapples and turnips and tomatoes all in the same um, well tomatoes are, are a summer crop also. Uh, peppers, there we go, that's a fall crop. And it would be totally cool. But we aren't allowed to do that. Because... I don't know. We offended someone in the past. That's why we're not allowed to have a greenhouse in this game. Uh, the disadvantage of the greenhouse, though, is that it could be blown away in bad weather. Uh, so to compensate for that, a trick that you could do would be to put your dog inside. Uh, putting your dog inside the greenhouse made it a static entity that, you know, couldn't be removed because it was a thing there. It's a mirror. Hmm, I need to go buy that mirror. Um, 
yes, uh, it turned the greenhouse into uh, into, a, into a static entity. So as long as the dog was inside, it couldn't be blown away, and that and you could cheap out like saving your greenhouse with that. Otherwise, you'd have to rebuild it every time it went down. You lose all your crops, and it was just a giant pain in the ass. But uh, yeah, put your dog in there. It works. It's great. It's cheap. They introduced a mushroom shack kind of deal in uh, Harvestman DS, where you could, where you could actually uh, grow your own mushrooms um, and actually just harvest them year-round. You just had to put a, a, a piece of wood inside of the um, side of the like pedestals that you had in there, and it would just grow mushrooms. And you could have them year-round. It was really very really very cool. I enjoyed it. But I've, I've never never seen that since, weirdly enough. I thought it, I thought it was kind of cool. Also the farm build uh, the farm building system I liked in um Harvestman DS. Because you could literally, when you went to, when you, when you went to like buy a barn, let's say, you, you wouldn't just upgrade the barn; you would just buy a whole barn, and then on your map you'd have to put, you have to, you have to put down where you want to put it. Uh, they carried that over into Musical Melody, but after that it was never seen or heard from again, which made me upset because I enjoyed that. Having have, 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 have the ability to, to to customize your farms. Just, I, I, I love customizing things, making things mine and how I want them to feel. I, I, I really love that in games. <clears throat> and I haven't been able to do that for a long time, unfortunately. Uh, well, I haven't been able to do that since the DS game. And then, yeah, never again. Let's go see if I have to talk to Ellie directly or not. I think I might just wait on the letter, but I don't know. Well, we'll find out tomorrow either way. I actually blocked that. I actually blocked that cough from going through. Haha. <laughs> I'm getting better at this Let's Play thing. I still sneeze on recording, though. I'm a cretin. Nope, still sad. Alright. Oh, yeah, I have to go have to go buy the mirror as well. Let's definitely go make sure I do that. Because after the mirror, I'm 80 I'm 85% sure it's the big bad. I think the mirror was the first thing that you could have gotten um, after the kitchen, or b before the kitchen, rather. And I just missed that by just like a day or something, and then I got the kitchen. And then I've been doing ingredients ever since. Oh, uh, utensils, there we go. It, rain English, do you speak it? Apparently I don't. Save. We're gonna look, 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 look forward to spring. It's not even to save every every single day. In and of itself, that is a boon. Okay, it's gonna be good weather because it's a holiday. And there's always good weather on holidays, unless you're playing Rune Factory. Then there is not only good days on holidays. No letter. Alright. Well, fine then. We may not get to do the Starry Night Festival. And that would be upsetting.
it's up upsetting from it from from a completionist standpoint, not from a we're missing out. Oh my god, because we're really not. There's a scene. You get to go eat dinner with their family, and it's 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 up. Uh, it's, it's quite nice, but it's just eh. it's a social holiday. One of those. That, that was bad. I was holding down A there, I almost threw this egg to the floor. Yeah. Sorry, brain.exe crashed for a brief moment. Yes, my, my brain is an, is, is an executable file. Make whatever, make whatever jokes you desire. Uh, so it looks like next set we're gonna finish off winter for good, and I'll be happy with that. Well, I say for good, but I don't mean for good, because there's always gonna be another one. Because, you know, the season progression. But we'll finish off this winter for good, and then we can look forward to finishing the game, which will be good. So I'm sure all of you are waiting for something, waiting for something different at this point. Don't worry, I already know what I'm going to replace this with, and I think several of you will like it. Based off the reaction, the reaction, another comparable game on my channel got. Yes, I'm doing a sequel. Look at me being sort of clever. I'm not being clever at all, am I? No, I'm not. Don't even try to lie to me. But let's bring Ellie some flowers and see if she'll invite us over to her house, and if not, then, well, crap. I can't do the Starry Night Festival, and all of you are broken up about it, because it was, because you were looking so forward to it. After this, I have to edit videos and sleep. I say sleep, but I know that I won't get any, because I have, I have things to do. If you hear that woof, that is the dog that we're watching. He is obnoxious. And he never stops. Ever. I would love that, Ellie. Yeah, we got invited over to her house. Yeah! So we get to look forward to that next season. Ne ne next season? Next set. We get to go over and... Go and be with our girlfriend and her family. It'll be great. Stu will make awkward conversation and try to embarrass us, and her grandma will stare disapprovingly at us, because we are not good enough for her granddaughter. It'll be great fun. That won't happen. That, that won't happen. They love me. That won't happen. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's where I'm going to call the set, because it's been 45 minutes. That's probably good enough for Harvest Moon. Um... Next next set, I almost said season again, we'll finish up winter and go into and when winter will turn to spring, and we'll feel so much better because we have done all of the things. I made a music, I made, I, I referenced some lyrics there. Look at me being clever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the set, and uh, we got stuff accomplished, kind of. We, we moved the days forward to where things will actually be interesting again before they are over. And I spoiled that I'm doing a sequel to a game I've already done. You, you can now post your predictions in the comments. Yeah, I have. I won't sway me, but you can at least tell me what you think that I'll be doing. Haha, -ha, I'm going to be clever. So, until next time, this has been What's My Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town. I have been Rain Kisaragi, and next set might be one of the last. So, I'll see you guys then. Rain K, out. <laughs>